uh, this is uh, Sunil again. So today I'm going to talk something different other than rainwater harvesting and uh, solar. Yeah, overall effort is in the concept of sustainability. This is the car which is uh, driving one biodiesel blend. And I have my friend uh, Avinash, he is our well-wisher and he was also a part of Indian Engineering uh, a few years uh, back. He is an uh, expert in biodiesel, biodiesel blends rather. So he's been driving biodiesel cars across the globe. He has had many expeditions in Europe, in India and our last expedition in 2007, even I was a part of that. We drove across uh, many, many major cities in India. Now it's 2022, I have joined Avinash for the Odyssey uh, uh, last week and I joined the Odyssey in uh, Lucknow. Before Lucknow, Avinash has covered many other major cities. I will hand it over to Avinash to give us a very small intro about this particular biodiesel Odyssey and what is the drive behind it. Now I will invite Avinash to have a few words please. Yeah, over to Avinash. Yeah, as Sunil pointed out, this car is uh, run on biodiesel blends and the whole objective of this expedition is to promote the concept of sustainable lifestyle practices using biodiesel as a medium and we have covered close to four and a half thousand kilometers uh, starting from Bangalore on the 24th of August. The car was flagged off by Sri Tejasvi Surya, member of parliament and uh, we touched upon major cities in, in uh, Hubli, such as Hubli, Pune, Bombay, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Delhi, Lucknow. Then we also went into uh, Nepal. We were at oh, Kathmandu. I mean, uh, just, uh, just to break here. Can you just tell me how, how, how was Nepal? Even I was driving in Nepal on this car. Few words before we proceed about just the Nepal expedition. Rather the Nepal, you can say ordeal. How it was. Few words from the roads. And how this car actually managed to negotiate those roads in the biodiesel blend. Okay, of course, I'm going to play a few videos of how the, how the road was. But... A quick note on how, how this car negotiated the good or bad roads of Nepal. Trust me, we are lucky to be here in Patna in one piece. Uh, the roads in, in in Nepal are definitely not motorable. Definitely not. And we had a serious problem with the car. Uh, the, the oil filter, the diesel filter in fact, got uh, hit by a stone. And then we had leakages and eventually we somehow we managed to reach Kathmandu. We changed the part but it was not uh, fitted in the right way. And then we lost a day there with the right fitting and then eventually we are here now in Patna. So if you ask me seriously, yeah, Nepal was, was definitely very really challenging. Over to you. So now we will uh, discuss very quickly a few technicalities. Which I have driven biodiesel car before, even I have used biodiesel in my car. And uh, this is my second expedition in uh, biodiesel. And as I, I mean, as explained, we had a really, really, really tough time in Nepal. Somehow, God's grace, we have come till uh, Patna and we have a still long way to go. So now we will just discuss very briefly what is this biodiesel all about, why it is important and uh, we will test drive the car as well. So I mean, I have a few questions uh, if you don't mind. So what is this biodiesel all about? Well biodiesel is an alternative to petroleum diesel. It can be used readily in existing diesel infrastructure such as diesel engines, uh, diesel pump sets and diesel gen sets. So we commonly hear something called a blend, B50, B20, B30. What exactly does this mean? What is this B all about? This B means, B stands for biodiesel. So you're blending with petroleum diesel, biodiesel. So if you're having B10, it means 10% biodiesel and 90% petroleum diesel. And uh, any changes in the engine of this car or any other car which runs on biodiesel? No changes to the engine, but any rubber part, which is usually not resistant to biodiesel, is changed to silicon rubber. So we have done all those changes in this car and it doesn't cost much. So... Uh, in terms of efficiency of fuel, is there any difference between a regular petroleum diesel and a biodiesel? Yes, there's a 10% drop in uh, the mileage and we have seen that over our trip across the, the, the various places that we have visited, across different terrains. So there has been at least a 10% drop, as high as 15%. But however, the drop in mileage is compensated by the drop in cost. Uh, a litre of biodiesel train Bangalore costs anywhere between 80 to 82. And uh, so the drop in cost compensates for the drop in mileage. So any, have you experienced any problem with the engine? Because you've been driving, I'm sure, I think you've driven more than a lack of kilometers in Europe, maybe a lack of kilometers in, in the Indian subcontinent. Any problems you have seen, other than of course the diesel filter, any mechanical failures, any problem in terms of the engine, engine damages on no, your biology? So far, no. Uh, we haven't faced any major engine problems. But yes, we have faced problems with the pump because if you do not, uh, uh, put in, uh, uh, you know, filter the fuel that is biodiesel into the car, the impurities can actually clog 
uh, your your injectors, and before the injectors, you can clog even the functioning uh, of, the, of, the, of your fuel filter and your fuel pump. Okay, anything to do with emissions? Does it increase, decrease with the biodiesel plant? Theoretically speaking, you should have about seventy eight percent drop in emissions uh, as far as carbon in, uh, carbon dioxide is concerned. And biodiesel considered is considered as a clean fuel, so it's supposed to emit only carbon dioxide and not carbon monoxide. So that's one advantage. And apart from that, yeah, the quality of smoke you see much lesser black fumes going to complete combustion. So, anything else you want to add about the biofuel itself, about the fuel? Yeah, I mean, uh, biodiesel is is actually a blessing for our country because a lot of base cooking oil is available from restaurants, which is one of the major sources for biodiesel production. And our country can be self-reliant in in at least by about ten to fifteen percent of the total energy mix uh, using biodiesel as a fuel. So. Uh, we are the largest importer of edible oil in the world, and the, the use of waste cooking oil, that is, after you use the oil after frying, that oil can be readily used for biodiesel, which is what even Aris Bioenergy, who has been our title sponsor for this expedition, is advocating. Can, can you see a biodiesel? How does it look? So, this is how it looks. Biodiesel? Yeah, this is biodiesel. It, 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 it smells, smells alright. This is biodiesel. Can you tell me what is this blend? This is P100. There is no blend in this. This yeah. is a raw biodiesel. But since we already have petroleum diesel in the tank, we can just add it. And the advantage of biodiesel is it blends with petroleum diesel in any proportion. Are there two different viscous liquids, the diesel and the biodiesel? Yeah, this is about three times more viscous, three to four times more. So the more blending viscous. is the blending is, is absolutely seamless. not a problem. Okay. And uh, what is made up of? This is nothing but an ester. Uh, it's a fatty acid alkyl ester. Since I've used methanol to produce biodiesel, it's a fatty acid methyl ester. And the raw material that I used for this was waste cooking oil that I got from uh, the potato chips uh, frying. Oh, that's great. So, so, so far, so very little I know about biodiesel. In the process of bio making biodiesel, I was told there are some byproducts which are which can be actually again used for something or other. Can you just briefly touch upon those? Yeah, uh, when you produce biodiesel, you also get a, a thick layer of glycerin, which, uh, owing to its high density, settles to the bottom of the reactor, goes two hours of processing, so that we take it out and we make hand wash uh, soaps, that is solid bars of soap, or even liquid hand wash. And then the biodiesel so obtained is still impure because it has a lot of uh, polar and ionic impurities. So in order to remove that, we use wash it, uh, we, we wash it with water, and on washing with water, all the, the impurities uh, uh, get into the water phase and that water can be filtered and to that we add certain herbal ingredients to give you a uh, top quality surface cleaner. Anything else with other cleaners? Only surface cleaners? Anything else can be added? Uh, it can also be used as a disinfecting medium uh, and uh, yeah, so far we have, uh, we have also filtered that liquid, processed it to be used as tank disinfecting agents. So I can technically conclude it's a kind of a zero waste process? More or less. Yes, uh, uh, somewhere close to zero. Yes. Okay, so, so that's about the biodiesel. So we'll just fill into the car. So this is a Tata Indica. By the way, this is a 2004 model, and uh, it's been it's been running for how many kilometers already? So far, it has covered around 50,000 kilometers, including this expedition travel that year. On on biodiesel. On on biodiesel. biodiesel yeah, yes. So we will put the biodiesel into our tank, drive the car, and then we will start the harvest. So there's some diesel already in the in the tank. So this is fully 100% biodiesel. So just just simply pour. this filter to trap any impurities so it doesn't go and clog the filter and the pump and eventually your injectors. So you can come have a look inside we have been carrying this biodiesel all the way. Avinash has been carrying this from Bangalore. I have joined this trip from Lucknow. So this, we have been carrying a lot of biodiesel and we have crossed many state borders, we have crossed the international border. Yes, uh, that was really funny to cross the international border. 
Yeah, I, I think I can. Is, I, I don't think I'm wrong if I tell you the first biodiesel car to have crossed the international border. Yeah, right. in this part of the world, yes. Uh, see, I, I can say the Indian subcontinent is the first car which has actually, actually crossed the international border with a biodiesel plant. We are hoping to even get to Bhutan, so let's see how it goes. So, I'm going to drive this car. Have a look. So, I am in the car. I've been driving a diesel car for over a decade now, so I don't see any difference as such. on the biodiesel and uh, it's good, it's nice. So I, mean, I see a lot of stickers all over the car, the Indian flag and so on and so forth. And all these can just quickly, very quickly tell your philosophy behind all the stickering and I also see Swatch Bharat and things like that. Very quickly. Two points. Yes. The stickers that you see in the car are the guys who have actually supported for this expedition uh, across India, Nepal and Bhutan, uh, covering close to 10,000 kilometers and uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the Prime Minister has been advocating Atma Nirbhar Bharat and using biodiesel, of course, you have a Swachh Bharat because the emissions are low, a cleaner environment means a healthier population leading to sustainable development of our country. So, I just drove a car, it's made from the fuel from cooking oil, feels good, feels proud. So, there is some sticker here, Azadika, Amrit Mahotsav and of course, all these people are sponsoring Avinash. Hey, Avinash, I think you also met uh, some people in Kathmandu University, right? Can you just, and you've been meeting a lot of other other folks, students and business leaders. Can you just tell me what, what you've been trying to do? We're meeting a lot of folks. We, all, I, we also had a chat with Kathmandu University people. We actually, uh, Avinash gave a presentation on sustainable lifestyle. I gave a presentation on uh, on Net Zero. So, and Avinash has been making a lot of uh, networking and a lot of presentations across. Uh, across India. So, very quickly, who all did you meet? What, what, what do you actually propose to achieve by all these meetings? Yeah, see, uh, the mistakes done by us, the current generation and the few, and the previous generation, uh, is in, in handling the environment has been, uh, you know, has been pretty tough, uh, uh, to, be, to be honest. So, when I say tough, it means we have been harming the environment to meet our daily requirements. And going forward, that cannot be the norm anymore. So, in that regard, I thought, uh, interacting with the youth, letting them know about what's happening. Because I'd also been to Antarctica a few months back. So, if uh, by interacting with the students, I can get to know what's in their minds and also stimulate them in the path of, you know, adopting environmental protection by switching to sustainable lifestyle practices, which is exactly the theme of this expedition. I think that's exactly what we have, uh, uh, you know, started or embarked on this mission. So, that's about, about uh, biodiesel. Very quick intro. And uh, yeah, the expedition has been going so far, a lot of adventures, some misadventures. So we propose to cover a little more uh, distance uh, in the Indian subcontinent. We also hope to see uh, Bhutan and it's the second international border. So his, his, his details are actually flashing up, it's there on the description below. So you can get in touch with Avinash, he is an expert in biodiesel. Not only that, he runs a company called uh, Green Law, am I right? Green Law. It's Green Law, it says Green Land air and water. So, he's been practicing sustainability, not only practicing, he has a for-profit company which is actually selling biodiesel, which is also selling byproducts made of biodiesel like hand wash, uh, surface cleaners, some, some disinfection and I have been his customer for quite some time now. So, you can get in touch with Avinash for all your uh, uh, requirements, be it academic or be it in terms of commercial requirements for some of the, some of the weeks here. So, here I am signing off from Patna, from here we are heading to Gangtok. Yeah, Gangtok and hopefully we meet more students from several other universities on the route and uh, make the right kind of noise that we need in order to propagate, uh, propagate uh, environmental protection. So, that's about it. Bye from Patna right now. See you. Cheers.